Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the makeup by Mario and Sephora brushes. As you beautiful people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any shit you may have to say about them, take it elsewhere because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. It is a brand new day here in the world. How the fuck is everyone? I am great, except my eyes hurt so bad. I don't know what I did, but they're just like sore. Otherwise, life is beautiful. And it is that special of a day that I'd really like to introduce you to somebody. Meet Nady Jr. Say hello, Nady Jr. Hi, guys. Yeah, apparently not washing your face after going to the gym is a bad thing and will make you break out. Cool story, bruh. Anywho, bitch. So I was a little bit on the fence about reviewing these because I thought, do I want to review another brush set? And that answer is... Fuck no, because this kind of thing works so different with everybody depending on their skin, their foundation, just so many factors. But Drunk Nady thought otherwise because this just arrived on my doorstep. I really don't know much about this. I passed a Sephora the other day and I saw they were promoting this. There was a giant ass picture of Mario up in the front. But other than that, I don't really even know what's included. It looks like we get a concealer brush, a highlighter brush, a contour slanted brush, a cheek brush, a foundation brush, and a powder brush. So let's open it up. Oh, first of all, how the fuck much was this? Holy tits. This was $70? Oh, but they had an even more expensive one. Why didn't I get that? Usually Drunk Nady goes for like the top dollar shit. Okay, so this is $69 to be exact. Funnily enough, that is my favorite number. It has pretty good reviews. Four and a half out of five stars. Let's go ahead and see what the lowest reviews are. This person says, blah, in person they don't look as impressive as they do in the photos. Oh, they look like cheap brushes from Target. Poor quality. This was a gift from a friend, but they returned them. Oh, dick move. Just kidding. I have to totally done that before. Very soft, very overpriced. Good brushes for powder products. This four star review says, I think the quality is amazing, but the size of the brushes are smaller than they thought. There's nothing worse than opening something up and seeing the package is much smaller than you'd expected. We've all been there, and if you haven't, bless you. The five star reviewers are saying it's worth every penny. They're blown away. They're beautiful. They didn't even mind the price. Best brushes of 2020. Okay, well, let's stop reading about this shit and actually dive into them. Also, does it kind of sound like I'm getting sick? sick because I was having major hot flashes this morning. Weirdest fucking thing. And now my throat feels all tingly. And I promise it's not even from sticking anything in my mouth. I don't know what the fuck is up. All right. So first up we have the powder brush and let's take the little protector thingy off of it. Ooh. Huh. I'm... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> eh. Okay, there we go. So here is the fluffy powder brush. It's a little bit frayed and frazzled. It kind of looks like Beaker from Muppets. Ooh, we can just kind of straighten those kinks out, although we do love a kinky bitch. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is exquisite. Are these synthetic or real? These brushes are vegan with synthetic fibers, but oh my god. That feels magnificent. What the fuck? Okay, the video's over. I'm just gonna be doing this all day. Next up, we have the foundation brush. This one actually does look a little bit tiny, I'm not gonna lie. And it is pretty densely packed. Normally, I like it to be a little bit more, but they boast this giving you an airbrush look. I guess this makes sense that it's somewhere kind of in between dense and fluffy. Then a cheek and face brush. That's, hmm, a little bit small for a cheek brush. I'm not sure what exactly you would use this with. Maybe blending out contour. Usually I kind of go in with like a stippling motion and that would be perfect, so I get it. But then we have an actual contour brush. You know, now that I'm looking at these, they are a little bit on the small side. This is kind of more like a travel pack than like a full-size brush set. Like, does that not look minuscule? Here's another one that I use for my cheeks, and we can see that there is definitely a big size difference. Maybe you can't on camera, but there is. Now we say the camera adds 10 inches, or maybe it's 10 pounds. And then the last two brushes we have is a highlighter brush, which... This does seem kind of on the small side. I'm not sure if it's this part that seems small. I think that is what's tripping me up because like any other brush is like an inch and a half longer. It doesn't feel right because I like to grab the ends of brushes and work from there. It just makes a lighter application. And then we have a concealer brush. Very, very cute. Very, very short. I'm going to be honest here and I don't know that this was worth $70. It might make my makeup look absolutely amazing and then it might be worth it, but just like initial reactions, 
Hmm. It does also come with a nice little leather carrying case. I'm not going to open that just in case I absolutely hate these and I have to return this. Sometimes in the comments I'll get shit for saying I return things after I review them, but if I don't like them, like, what the fuck am I gonna do with it? Who cares if I reviewed it? I'm a normal consumer just like you. I just happen to try things in front of a camera. All right, let's hop the fuck into this shit show and prime our face. To do that, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. Mmm, this smells good. It's almost covering up the smell of my fake tan. And then just for added stickiness, I'm also gonna go in with this Laura Mercier foundation primer. And for foundation, I'm going in with my all-time favorite Dior Backstage. I'll just put a few drops right there. And by a few drops, I mean half the fucking bottle. Be helpful if I had a mirror. So if you know me, you'll know that this Dior Backstage is my all-time favorite foundation. However, I've never gotten it to look good with a brush application. It always looks cakey, but when you use it with a sponge, it's magnificent. And so if it looks good with a brush, to me, that's a really good test. And that's what would make it unique, like it can do what other brushes can't. And I mean, it's definitely blending it out. It's more kind of sliding things around and making it a little bit streaky, but let me just keep blending it out and then kind of stippling. Feels really nice on the face. Like it's very relaxing. Oh, God damn. Let me go in with one more little application. I have had to use quite a bit more than I normally would with a beauty blender. Like this is my third time going in with about that much. You're only supposed to need a few drops of this. I was kind of hoping to be able to cover up Nady Jr. there, but I don't think that's going to be happening. We'll just accept him for who he is and embrace his qualities. Okay, so there we have it. I do think that application was pretty, but I think a sponge works better. At least with this foundation. I don't know if it's different with other ones, but this to me is like the best of the best foundation. So if it can't make this look exquisite, then... Eh. It's not like it looks bad, like it does look nice, but I know that I could get better with other products. So let's move on to concealer with a concealer brush. I'm not even gonna say the name of this brand because they are currently being canceled, but I fucking love their concealer, so there's that. And I've really never blended out concealer with a brush like this, so let's give it a try. This does not feel natural and it feels like it's gonna take a long time what if I go over it with like this brush instead? There we go, that is much better. That actually did make the concealer look really, really pretty, but this is a good concealer anyways. So let me just put this right where I normally would and then we'll blend it out with this foundation brush. I do like picking the product up with that brush and applying it because I used way less than I normally would, yet it still looks the same. In fact, I think it looks better using less. It's a bit more natural. No, I don't think there's quite as much coverage as you'd get if you used a shit ton, but still, I think think that looks great. Especially when you just like stipple it in, it kind of melts into your skin. Oh geez, I can hear my cat griping outside my door. Mia! Hi. Oh god, she's staring at me. I have two French doors outside my office room here and she's just like sitting out there staring. Girl, you are creepy today. And there we go. We are all blended out. I think my skin looks really, really pretty. I wouldn't say it looks airbrushed and I wouldn't necessarily say it looks any better if I used probably any other brushes or even a sponge, but I think it does look good. So I guess let's go in with a little bit of cream contour. This is by Uma Beauty and I'm pretty sure this is way too dark for me. So let's blend it out quickly. I'm just going to buff it out with that same brush we've been using. Yes, bitch. I mean, it does do a decent job at blending, but like I've said, I don't think it's any better than like any other brush. It is very, very soft, so I'll give it that. And so if you do have sensitive skin, these might actually be really good because they're not gonna pull or tug and they're not scratchy at all. Oh fuck, I put way too much on my nose. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have a snatch nose today. Fuck yes. I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath the eyes with my all-time favorite setting powder. This is the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder. And then just to bring a little bit of highlight back under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with some more RCMA Translucent Setting powder and I'm gonna carve that out right there put a little underneath the eyes and on the forehead like pretty much every other beauty youtuber out there then to dust all the bake away and everything I'm going to dip in with the big ass floofy powder brush into some I don't know what this is I think it's covergirl powder I always like to tap it into my brush so that it doesn't go flying mmm that does feel very very nice oh god like, Fuck, just this brush alone was worth the $70. Ugh. This brush is divine. Like, it feels so nice on the face. Let me see if it feels any better than like a normal, oh, okay. So here's just like a normal Morphe brush. No, I'm not an affiliate, probably never will be, but 
They do feel... Uh, mm, this one does feel a touch better, but I think that's because it has longer and more bristles. This is a really, really nice feeling. Like, I was kind of on the fence about keeping this set, but now I kind of want to just for this brush. It feels unlike anything I have ever felt on my face. Like, it's so soft. Oh, shit, my pants are so tight right now. For contour, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my NYX palette, and I just like to take all of them, make it like an orgy on the face. Here we go, right about there. Okay, so it is adding the product, but I don't know that it's doing any better than the normal brush that I use. Normally I'll use like a thick fan brush and that does an excellent job at carving my cheekbones out. I guess this does an all right job too, but I don't know that I would ever like reach for this brush. Maybe it would have been better had I blended out the cream contour with that brush. I guess that would have made a little bit more sense. So yeah, I'm not in love with that brush. I wanna feel this brush on my face even more, so I'm gonna dip into a product that I very, very rarely use because it kind of makes cake face on me, but it does a good job at brightening, so I'm gonna dip into the Nakuti... Nakuti? What the fuck is Nakuti? This is the Nikita Dragon Beauty Powder. I'm gonna dip into the pink one with a powder brush and just lightly dust it underneath the eyes to bring a little bit of highlight back. And this brush is doing something that no other tool has ever done, which is make this look good. It just melted right into the skin. I love this brush. Can I just buy this brush alone? I don't need the other ones. Okay, it's gonna really bug me if I don't do a quick eye look. So for that, I'm gonna dip into the Titty Booty palette. Let's just put some Matte Soothe all over the eyelid, back and forth. Bring it right under the eye as well. And let's also take some Story. We'll plop that right on the crease as well. With a little bit of Ritual and whatever this red is on the outer corner. And some Orange Shimmer. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and place it right on the inner corner about there. Oh god, that got everywhere. <sighs> and just a touch of glitter. I know, right? Who am I? Fucking hate glitter, but something about Tati's glitter, oh, it does shit to me. I'm gonna smudge a little matte black coal pencil right along the eyelash so it hides my lash band. There we go. Very, very simple, for me at least. So, for highlighter, I'm gonna dip into this Laura Mercier highlighter with this little teeny tiny baby highlighter brush, and this is not the most poppin' highlighter ever, but I think today a more kind of subtle glow is kind of what I want. Uh, let's go in with a little bit more. Can we see that? Oh shit, yes we can. Okay, so that did a pretty okay job at applying highlighter. I don't know that it did any better than literally any other brush though. And because it's so short, it's actually not the most pleasant to work with. It just doesn't feel right. It feels like part of it is snapped off or something. But otherwise, it did a decent job. The last thing to test is bronzer and blush, which we only got one cheek brush. And I would definitely use this more for blush than anything else because it's dome shaped. So let me take a little bit of bronzer on a different brush. And now we can go in with some blush. God, this brush is just so fucking short. Okay, here we go. I think it's doing an all right job, but me personally, I would normally use a brush like this for blush because I just think it gives a better and more natural application. So I don't know that I would ever reach for this brush either. It is applying it very nicely. I really don't have many complaints. It's just the size. I feel like it's too small. It's very, very soft. Fuck me. I'm also gonna dip back into this highlighter with that fluffy brush, which this is probably more of a highlighter brush than that other one. And I'm gonna re-highlight my cheekbone because I kind of took a little bit of that away. See, that does a spectacular job at applying highlighter. So yes, there we go. I just like missing makeup right there. Oh, that's special. Oh, it got a little bit muddy. Ooh. I think it looks okay. It's not necessarily airbrushed. Like, you can definitely tell that I'm wearing makeup. I'm kind of on the fence with these brushes. If it weren't for this big fluffy one that I just want to take everywhere with me, I would say fuck no to this whole set. But this one is just so magical. Oh, but really, does this brush make it worth the money? No. In the end, there's really nothing special to it, I'm gonna be honest. All of the handles are way too fucking short in my opinion. The blush brush, it was okay, but I prefer other brushes over it. The highlighter brush, 
it did a decent job, but again, I would prefer another brush. The concealer brush, I don't really understand. Are you supposed to like blend all of your concealer out with this? Are you supposed to cut a crease with this? That probably would have been a really good tester. We should have done that because this would probably cut a crease like no fucking other. The foundation brush, I actually thought was pretty decent. It did a good job, but look at how much product it soaked up, which is why if I'm going to be applying liquid foundations or concealers with a brush, I want it to be super fucking dense, not fluffy like this one. It did an okay job at making it look smooth on my skin, but in the end, I could get the same results with like a sponge and half the amount of product. The contour brush, it's a no. And we are back to this fluffy powder brush. Oh, fuck. This thing is what I would imagine heaven to be like. I love it. If you can get your hands on like this single brush, then definitely do. But do I think you need the whole set? No. Do I think it was worth the money? No. I think they were so close, but if everything was just a little bit bigger, like the people said in the reviews, then I would probably fucking love it. But the way that they are now, no. Are they the worst brushes in the world? No, not at all. I would put them at like maybe medium grade quality, I guess. And probably more at like a $30 price range. Any fucking who, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which just changed from black to white, is available at thepoplix.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplix.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye! Bye!